Well, here we are. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Not the Valentine's Day I expected. I actually was going to, if I had to, burn up. Because, you know, Valentine's Day is about hearts and how ironic hearts. My son has such a dangerous heart condition. It's, it's Valentine's Day, which it didn't happen even this year. But anyhow, um, it's about hearts and burning love and, and um, you know, passionate things and everything. And I thought, you know what? I don't care how bad I'm going to be burning at the stove or whatever. I wanted to make some nice things for Polly. I was going to make him some chocolates. I was going to make a, a chocolate, a silk chocolate, chocolate chiffon, I don't know, some kind of pie with chocolate and um, chocolate pie crust. And then, like I said, homemade chocolates and chocolate mousse. And, well, you can't have any caffeine now, so that went down the toilet. <laughs> so then I thought I'd make um, a banana banana pudding and I had bought these uh, chessmen cookies you needed to make with and um, this uh, instant pudding and I think Cool Whip that's all you needed might be a few other things but um, the cookies and the pudding walked out the door if you know what I mean so I asked the thief if uh, they could replace it and of course they didn't so I thought okay I'll work my magic. So I had a smaller package of pudding around. So I figured I'd make a banana cream pie. And um, the bananas I had, which I now have to sleep with the bananas too, um, the monster decided when he was here, you know, when I, I do have to go to the bathroom sometimes. I can't be the police all around the clock. He uh, shoved them all down his mouth and swallowed them. But I could have still made it, but I had only the vanilla pudding, so it wouldn't be a banana cream pie. So I didn't make that. And I had asked him um, on Sunday, the 13th, if he could buy. I had a thing of these uh, Lindor Lint white chocolate strawberry cream, I think they're called chocolates. If he could pick up a pack at the store for Polly, um... Because I feel bad I didn't make any kind of anything. And, uh, no, he didn't. And I asked him a few other things. And, um, he just bought himself a bunch of crap. He walks in with a thing of Cheez-Its. I was on the phone with him when he was at the store where you can see this video. I don't know what it's called. And I saw the Cheez-Its in the cart. And I says, can you please pick Polly up the crackers? He likes ranch, um... Club Ranch crackers, they're real light and airy. I've showed them to you before. Nope, he didn't get them. I said, if you buy yourself crackers, you buy your son crackers. No, he didn't. I asked him to buy, they have this, um, I know we call it the ice cream milk. They're, oh, it's, it's called intense milk. And um, every once in a while I'd get it for Polly. Well, before when it was an outrageous price, now it's outrageous. And sometimes he would bring it to him, very rarely. Of course, he got himself two vanilla and he got a poly of chocolate. So I said, could he get him um, a vanilla or a strawberry so he could have something special? No. But he bought himself a 12-pack of uh, iced tea, which now Polly can't have. Not that he'd give it to him, but, um, you know, karma does come around because he went to drink one when he was here. And he says, oh, this tastes awful. And so I'm in the living, I'm living room. I'm in my kitchen. He's in the living room. So I just kind of had a little smile on my face like okay maybe some karma's coming his way and I'd ask him if he could get some um, herbal tea like peach Polly likes to drink tea we like um, raspberry and hibiscus and peach but Polly likes peach iced tea so I thought I'd you know make the tea hot tea seep it and then put it in the fridge and make it cold so he could have iced tea did he get it heck no so Valentine's Day, I, I mean, I don't really believe in it that, you know, it shouldn't be just one day if you're married or you got a partner or whatever. You should, I actually have a thing I wrote and I forgot to write it down. If I find it, I'll uh, read it to you this week. I wrote something about it. Let's see if I can remember anything. Something about, you know, if you celebrate Valentine's Day, you know, Get the prettiest flowers and the nicest chocolate and have the 
beautiful dinner and um, romance or sit by the fire, whatever it is you do. But most importantly, don't do it just that day. Do it every day. Every day should be special. It shouldn't be one day that's commercialized and people run out. That's why I said I, you know, I just wanted to make a pie for him. Or some, uh, oh, that's right, I asked if you could buy a bar, uh, not a bar, white chocolate chips. So I thought I could make, I have freeze-dried strawberries. So I could just make something. And it would last all week. Um, but he didn't get none of that. But anyhow, so that's that. So now that I put the gloom and doom on the situation, so tomorrow I'll probably try to get an Instacart to get the rest of the stuff I need. Of course, it's Valentine's Day, so people will be ordering flowers from the grocery store if they even have them. I don't know if I'll even get the Instacart, but I'll try. Um, what do you guys do on Instacart? Instacart, jeez, I need sleep <laughs> on Valentine's Day. Do you do anything special? I used to, with my kids, I would get them each a little... Uh, Russell Stover heart. My mom loved Russell, Russell Stover chocolates. Um, she used to get them, but she couldn't afford them, so I would buy them from her. Um, this is back actually in my first marriage, second marriage. Just a box, I think, Dollar Tree Palmer, just so they had some chocolate because we don't usually eat, you know, a lot of sweets during the year. But, um, do you do anything special? Do you go out to dinner with your husband if you have one? Do you do anything for your kids or did you? Or um, So tell me what you're doing on Valentine's Day. I hopefully will make some kind of something and I'll have it to show you. But again, no promises because now I feel my life is I'm always like, you know, when you're um getting close to the end of your pregnancy and you always want to, Make sure your legs are shaved and your hair is washed. Well, at least that's how I was. So I feel like now with Polly, I always have to make sure that well, I don't care about my legs shaved and all that. Um, but I don't actually, I, I don't have um, hair on my legs anymore for some reason, which is a good thing. But I do have it under my arms. <laughs> but um, and I do shave my underarms. But um, you know, I always gotta think. Oh my gosh, my hair! I have to make sure my hair is washed. You know, because you never know. You never know what's going to happen now. It's like a constant, I'm constantly pregnant, it feels like. I'm always on guard and got to be ready and I have to pack a bag to make sure I have it because if we have to go, we have to go. Oh, it's horrible. Okay, how do we get from Valentine's Day to this? I don't know. It's just me. So let me know. Are you doing anything on Valentine's Day or do you do? It's okay. Share if you do. I don't mind reading it. I love. I love to read nice things. Especially when I'm sitting in my hole of crepola, because uh, I would like a little chocolate bar. Actually, I, you know, I love chocolate, but um, that's okay. I know I won't get it. Usually, not usually. Sometimes, pre this crap world, I would buy a. Um, actually, I did. I bought my kids each a rose, but I bought it like before they jacked up. Price. Oh, I can only imagine what the price is for a rose. A dozen roses, I can't even imagine. But, like, they had roses during, you know, regular times for, I think they were 99 cents. And then when Valentine's Day came, this was pre this crap, they were like, um, how much were they? I want to say $5. No, maybe more. I think they were $7.99. I can only imagine what they are now. And I would buy myself one, too. This was years ago. Just, you know, kind of just a little special. I mean, it's nice to have a little something special. But, you know, I love my kids every day of the year. And we did special things all the time. So, but let me know if you do or you did. Or what do you think of Valentine's Day? So, comment down below. I'll probably do two videos on Valentine's Day. We'll see. Well, I should if I remember. Otherwise, what's the point after? But it doesn't matter. I can do it after. I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. But anyhow. I wish you a very happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate it or not. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Like, like helps the algorithm, which passes along my video, which, like, hopefully I said another one. Maybe someone else has dealt with this problem that Polly has and will hop on here and give me some good advice. And um, be kind to people. You don't know what they're going through. And we're all going through the same crap and our own problems, and you're always in my prayers, 
and be kind to yourself. And if you don't do anything on Valentine's Day, do something nice for yourself. Read that book. Paint that picture. Do that. What's it sewing you call? Where you sew something, it's a picture. I don't know. I forgot that thing. <laughs> or, um, I think Colleen is making quilts. Oh, I wish I knew how to do that. A hobby that you haven't done. Pick it up and do it. Do it. Just do something special. Take a bath. A relaxing bath. Put on some music. Light a candle. Just do something special. I'll let you know if I did. So for now, again, have a very happy Valentine's Day. And take care. It doesn't shut off. I don't know why. 